after we think, brothers, we can be disconnected from God that we came out of and win. We cannot win disconnected from the thing we came out of. Believers should be walking around yeah. with that boldness. Yeah. But when you build, build. to trust God till the wheels fall off and then if the wheels happen to fall off I'm going to still trust God to replace the wheels or repair the wheels and if God don't give me new wheels I'm going to trust God for some wings but I'm not going to stop trusting God I celebrate 10th year yes, one of the few people I gave an illustration this morning of well, every dream chaser needs someone that you allow to pour into you that you glean from you need someone you're pouring back into, and you need someone that iron sharpens iron. And for whatever reason, I'm very selective about who I run to when I'm in need. But I need to talk to someone about something that only God knows about. One of the few vessels in this world that I trust spiritually to run to for counsel, guidance, and spiritual support. It is afternoon's guest speaker. Someone that has shown me so much in ministry that I could never repay. That's right. But I pray that the fruit of my labor will say thank you. Amen. So I'm present to some for the very first time, and others reintroduce Bishop Sheldon Bailey, a man of character and integrity. What we receive him now, we receive him now. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. If you're glad to be at the house this afternoon, make some noise with me. Uh, if you don't mind, I want you to say to your neighbor, say, neighbor. I've been watching the news. And I've learned something. There's something that's called a preemptive strike. Uh, uh, a preemptive strike. You do a preemptive strike if you believe your enemy has the capacity to strike you. But you don't want them to win, so you diminish their ability by giving them a preemptive strike. You try to take out their stronghold, their communication, and their, their, their capacity to launch an attack against you. So today I came that we're going to ignite a preemptive strike against the enemy. We believe. We believe that the enemy, like a roaring lion, is seeking who he may devour. So he put the word out that he's going to try to take us out. But we got news from the devil this afternoon. It won't work. So Greenhouse, along with Harvest Time Church, have brought together a coalition to launch a preemptive strike against the devil. Now what you got to do, you got to use your feet, you got to use your hands, you got to use your mouth, you got to get in the house, and you got to tell your neighbor, neighbor, this means war. This means war. We came to give God a radical shout and dance and play. For 20 seconds, somebody scream. Somebody hands I'm so glad to be next to you. I am. Can we should touch somebody and say, I'm glad to be next to you. And, and out of all the people you could have sat next to, you sat next to me. Because I'm radical. I've been through the storm and the rain. I came this afternoon. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Anybody else glad to be here? Yeah. I sure am. I want to give honor to the pastor, the founder, one of the greatest men that loves people in the community. Yes, he does. Pastor E.A. Decker. 
His work speaks for him. Can we stand and make some noise for this man? His work speaks for him. Anytime there's a need in the community, he is right there. Whether it is Greenspoint, Sunnyside, Acres Home, wherever it is in the city of Houston, this man is there. Amen. Will you make more noise for him? We appreciate you, Pastor Decker. <laughs> Lady Decker, my God, the powerful minister, preacher, make some noise for her. Lady Sandra Decker, we love you so much. Come on, stand and make some noise for her, too. We thank God for this great couple. We love you very, very much. We love you. For the Greenhouse International Church, you are honored and you are favored to have such great leadership. And so we came to celebrate with you. Amen. And we understood that uh, Greenhouse and green means it's go. Yeah. So I put on my green attire and I have my uh, mean attire because I mean war today. Yeah. I mean it. I mean war. And so I'm glad that some from the harvest have come. Stand up those with me from the harvest. We come to show that we love you. We appreciate you. with me because I wanted Pastor Decker to know I didn't come by myself. Amen. I came to show love with you. Some people would just show up and bring nobody, yeah. but I said to bring somebody with me. Amen. Let you know we support you. And, and I meant what I said. This is a coalition. That's we came right. to fight with you. Amen. Before it's all over, we're going to be in the aisles dancing. Amen. And we're going to run around this place. I guarantee you that. And if we got to turn cartwheels, we're going to turn cartwheels. And if I got to take your hat off first, I'm going to take your hat off or your shoes off or something. If we're going to do something up in here. But we didn't miss our afternoon nap to do nothing. Come on! <laughs> Oh, I got the shout, amen. Yeah. Thank you, Harvest, and thank you, team, for being up here with me.